Give it a North Pole. Yeah? Okay. Okay, how about this? How about this guy? Well, what's happening? Are we gaining or losing? We are losing into the page, so if we lose it, we replace it. So how do we make into the page? Clockwise, yes? Okay, you understand that this part here sits still. What is that? This is like a little loop of wire. Yeah? And this part doesn't isn't there really, right? There's nothing there, it's just a loop. And as we slide this this way, we're decreasing the area in there, yes? Yeah? Right? So we are losing flux into the page. It's sliding on it, yeah. Like a little rail. It's like a rail gun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So here we are losing into the page, right? If we lose into the page, what do we do? Make into the page, yes? Yes, yes? Okay, now there's another way to do this one, as luck would have it. Remember, a positive charge moving that way, magnetic field is which way? Into the page. Isn't a positive charge going to move down this wire? Yeah, positive charge will move down this wire, which also makes everything go clockwise, yes? Two ways to do that one. Okay. How about this? Do you want to be stuffed in the poles of that magnet? No, sir. No, sir. Gentlemen, gentlemen. We don't want to be stuffed inside that magnet. So wh what, if you're going to become a magnet, how do you oppose being stuffed into the poles of that magnet? Top, north. Top is north, bottom is south. south, right? Yeah? Okay. So, so you're going to go however you picture this thing. Definitely this is going to be your north pole. The bottom side is going to be your south pole. It's like, oh, don't, don't want to go in there. Don't, don't, don't. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? It's like trying to put clothes on a kid that doesn't want to be dressed. It's amazingly hard, right? <laughs> you know? And then, they, then they'll just go limp. Right? And you've got like this little noodle of an arm that you're trying to thread through and I cannot do that, right? Okay? Right? I don't know which one's harder, you know? Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, magnetic. So, so, boys and girls. There is another way to do this. Let me explain it with flux. Okay, which way is the flux here? Down. And as we stuff it in there, we gain flux down. Yes. If we gain it, we oppose it, so we make flux up. That's another way. Hey. Morning. It's a. Oh yeah, here he is. He's early. He's early for the prep period. They're kind of cheesed off that I, I like uh, called you in, but that's all right. Okay, so um, there we go. We've got yes. All right. All right, let's do the next one. Next one, how can we make these harder? Because obviously we need to challenge you more. Okay, well, here is a wire. Don't wires make magnetic fields? Yes. And isn't the magnetic field due to this wire, well, the current is this way, right? Oh, that way. Yes? So the, the magnetic field is on this side into the page, yes? yes? On this side out of the page? Now, this magnetic field, which is into the page, picture X's, okay, is increasing. It means it's getting bigger. Yeah, the current is getting is increasing, right? So doesn't that mean the magnetic field is increasing? Okay. So if we are increasing into the page, aren't we gaining? We're gaining into the page, yes. So do we like that? No. No, we don't like that. So we oppose that. So we make the force, we make the the flux inside this loop out of the page, right? Let's do that again. Let's do that again. That's very complicated. Because this is a wire, wires make magnetic fields that go around them, yes? Yeah. The magnetic field on this side is into the page, this side out of the page. In front of the wire, it's that way, it's to the left, and behind the wire, it's to the right, yes? It's this way? Yeah. Okay, but where this loop is, where we're trying to answer the question, right? It's into the page. Since it's increasing, we're gaining into the page. So if we gain it, we oppose it. To oppose into the page, we make out of the page, yes? It's saying which way is the current in this red loop. Yeah. In this red, yeah, right there. Okay. Now, have you noticed that I'm always saying, and I've been making a joke about it, is that we always oppose the change. And in politics, that's a conservative uh, 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 viewpoint, yes? Right? And of course, I've been having fun with that, right? Okay. 
but but indeed that's in, in when we talk about these laws in physics these are called conservative laws for two reasons one a conservative law upholds conservation of energy as we've discussed right but it also conserves the status quo if we change the flux we always oppose that change in flux right so this is this is a very cool thing I've got a few more of these and then we'll be done and your brains will be fried so what if we decrease if we decrease the current we are flux into the page we are losing into the page so what do we do we replace it so to make flux into the page we go this way into the page yeah okay how about this we've got an outside coil we've got an outside coil and an inside coil which way if the outside coil if the current decreases okay what happens to the inside coil well okay think about this right because of the outside coil the flux here is out of the page yes we are losing out of the page correct so if we lose it we replace it now think about this this is one way that you could get a current to flow in a superconducting loop of wire have you ever wondered this how you get current to flow in superconducting loops they, if you've never wondered now start wondering right okay here's a loop of wire like this right how do we get current because this is how we make these really powerful magnets for like MRIs right how do you get the current flowing well you could do it this way you could get this guy superconducting shut down the external magnet boom you've got a current in the internal magnet the same direction which kind of makes sense yes right you've got to have some current going anti-clockwise that's a conservative thing right yes okay so one way to do it is that that's not how they do it though okay what they do is they actually take this thing and they take a little bit of this I'm trying to draw this so it doesn't look bad okay they take a little bit of it and they stick this part in the cryogenic system so this part is superconducting you have to get them cold to superconduct right and then they attach a power supply this parts warm and not superconducting so they attach a power supply here one side there one side there and they crank the current up to whatever the maximum is that the, the superconductor can withstand and it's a magnetic field by the way that makes it break down right so you get the current flowing it's going through this part through the power supply through this part through the power supply etc right okay then they just pour liquid helium on this part this parts in a, like an insulated thing and they make this a superconductor well as soon as that superconducts the power supply is just shut out of the loop and the current flows forever and really it's forever it's really really forever yeah. Uh, it's not terribly related. Okay. I think this is our last one, so let's do this one and be proud, and then we might have a two A thing. Okay. Here we've got a bell. Just go. Just go. The resistance decreases, so the current increases. It's anti-clockwise, yes. And so we have more out of the page. Right? We have more out of the page. How do we oppose that? Into the page, clockwise. Explosions. Explosions. And we're done. Tesla coils. Faraday cage.